Hi everyone. So I recently posted a video on perplexity, ChatGPT and Cloud AI, just to see which one was best. But what I've recently come across is a different tool or LLM tool, which is called STORM uh, by Stanford, uh, which STORM stands for Synthesis of Topic Outlines Through Retrieval and Multi-Perspective Question Asking. It's quite a mouthful. But in essence, what it does, this is their GitHub page, and you can get this through Storm by Stanford on Google or Storm. And I'll post a link below. But basically, the purpose of it is it's that it's an outline, sorry, uh, an LLM system that writes Wikipedia-like articles from scratch based on what it can find through the internet. And it does give you that it can't do publication-ready articles. But from my experience and testing it out for a little bit, it's done a pretty good job um, of creating a whole article. Uh, you, you can see how it does it here. It, it basically explains it pre-writing, writing stage. Um, you don't need to do all this. This is just if you want to install it on your local local machine, um, API keys, etc. We can skip all of this. Basically, the interesting thing is from this GitHub, we can see that it's fairly regularly updated. So they are adding things. Um, quite quite frequently, and you can also see up here. It's the last last merge or the last update was done last week. You can then look through look through the commits. But what we'll do is you can either uh, just go to this link here, storm.gnu.stanford.edu. And what we'll do is I've got one here. So let's check it out. So you'll have to log in. I've just logged in through Google. Um, I think you can log in through GitHub and through your email if I remember right. What we'll do is we will do a create a new article and I'll make it a little bit bigger. Let's just do a simple one. Give me the pros and cons of using a note taking system for meeting notes and other um, things I want to. Okay, can't be longer than 20 words, great. Um, let's just get rid of that and let's see what happens. Please type here to elaborate the purpose. see so I've just asked it a few things pros and cons of a note-taking system for meeting notes and other things kept it obviously quite big given the 20 character limit or the 20 word limit let's see what it comes up with so now it's generating the article it may take up to three minutes so it does it by different steps now it's browsing the internet and you can see on the left hand side here well whilst this is loading in fact it's looked through quite a lot of links i don't recognize quite a good few of these but hopefully they'll be interesting uh, on the left hand side what we have is just while it's loading new session obviously just creates a new chat discover is the recent posts which we'll get to in a second and my library that's just the recent um, prompts and articles that you've asked it to write and then on the left hand side, we also got a table of contents, which once this finishes generating our article, it will pop up with something hopefully quite interesting. So you can see it's, it's looking through from Planet Notion, Productivity Shift, Tech Republic, PC Mag, Medium Articles, Evernote, Blog Posts, another Evernote Blog Post. We did see another one which was something else. Now it's organizing the information to hierarchical content and leveraging the internal knowledge of the LLM. So let's see what, what comes out of it once it finishes. I should say it is free at the moment. Um, I've not had to pay. It does take a while, as you can see, uh, just to generate something. But you'll see the results, and it's, it's quite impressive, um, quite impressive tool. So. 
our prompt was, given the pros and cons of using a note-taking system for meeting notes and other things, what we have on the left-hand side, which we'll pops, we'll go through this quickly, types of notes, so these are headings, um, analog note-taking, sorry, digital, pros, cons, analog, pros, cons, hybrid, choosing a note system, pros and con, pros, cons, what to consider, and key considerations. So that is the table of contents. Let's just scan through this quickly. So a bit of a wall of text in this summary. So I see what it means, but it's not production ready or publication ready, but I'm sure if you just add in a few paragraphs here and there, check the wording, it shouldn't be a problem. Then let's check the note taking system, digital note taking, efficiency, searchability, collaboration, all makes sense. Disadvantages, what's this? Digital distraction, nice, yep. Data loss if not backed up properly, yep. And a learning curve and mastering new software. Sounds pretty spot on. Although maybe in this case it would have been nice if we just put these in bullet points rather than a paragraph, but there we go. This is a few tweaks that you can do after, but you've got the words, you've got a starting spot, so you can then tweak it as you want. So then just carries on, pros, cons, blah, blah, blah. So it is quite a full-on article that it's provided. Um, and I'm sure that if we went through this, it'd be pretty accurate. What's the show's PDF? I think I've clicked this one before. So, okay, just provides us a PDF. That's interesting. The summary here is a little bit easier to read than it was in the text uh, that it just showed us. Although here, here's a few formatting things that you could change. So you get the point though, that it's, um, it provided a Wikipedia type or an article type write up of a simple prompt that I gave it. And I'm just gonna check what these are. So is this where it references? So let's see what it says. Efficiency and organization, let's take a smaller one. Searchability, searchability and accessibility. Ability to search through notes, organize them in folders, links, etc. etc. So this came from reference number two. This was from this one here. Lee David. Not too sure who Lee David is, but we can click on it. And it's highlighted something of importance, I guess, from. So if we just check, let me just copy. A section of this. I guess this was an article. Uh, so Lee David wrote up an article. And if we search for this, so this is the section. Secondly, David ability to search through notes. Okay, organize them. So basically, it's taken this, it scraped this and put it into our article. That's interesting. Let's just check another one. Uh, what's number four? Let's check one. Was there an Evernote one? Seems to have liked medium. I guess this is not behind a paywall in the medium one. So again, it's just gone through this. Uh, Highlights, additionally handwriting or slower for you better connect later. So we handwriting feel organized and leads to deeper processing. Handwriting helps precise concepts when at context. So basically it's read through this and extracted something useful for us in the pros of using a note taking system, cons of using a note taking system, sorry, and speed and efficiently efficiency limitations. So that was pretty good. Um, what we can then do is, let's just do a new one. So again, let's just do Let's see. So we'll do another one, uh, History of the UE. 
let's see what it does. So again, it's generating the article. What we'll do in the meantime, can I not do this? Nope. What we'll do is we'll duplicate this. Duplicate tab. We'll cancel that and we'll click on discover. So this is discover. So these are the articles I'm guessing that have been uh, that have been requested, generated by Storm. You can search by most popular, most recent. Let's see. Neurodivergent disease, perception of cybersecurity and e-commerce. So if you want any ideas, so someone wrote, please write me a white paper on evolution of AI and data inertia, water quality in Vietnam, rise of EVs. Wow, it's a bit of everything. Anything and everything. What's the most popular one? Sustainability. Automatic knowledge curation. That's interesting. Let's go with this one. So you can click see brainstorming. So someone asked, can you explain what automatic knowledge curation is and how it differs from traditional curation? What's up here? Basic fact writing, AI versus machine. Data scientists. I'm not too sure what these are. Are these just different articles that someone's wrote or that the that Storm requested as it was going through the article? That might be it. And similar sort of thing. I mean, this is quite wordy. It'd be difficult to read, but there's a lot of information here. So it's not like your normal chat GPT um, perplexity, etc. This one gives you a proper article full-on narrative, which then obviously you can go in and check it. Now let's see if this one's finished, not yet. Let's go back to Discover. So yeah, this one just gives you most popular, most recent and alphabetical, and this was the library. These are the few things that I've tried to play around with. And obviously you can then search and not expand menu just expands it so what we'll do is we'll close this and here we go so this one was a little bit more of a traditional let's say write-up history of the UAE so it splits it by periods which is quite interesting so prehistoric and ancient goes all the way back to 3200 before Christ explains it obviously some of these be interesting to see where it got them from Wikipedia, UAE Gov website, I think. Yeah, history of the UAE, official port of the UAE government. Ice Age, pre Islamic period. It'd be nice if it added some images, I think. It'd be, um, it'd be pretty cool if it did that. I just saw the scroll bar. This is a long article. Islamic era, British influence, discovery of oil. 1930s, medium, formation, seven emirates here, these look correct, which is always, always useful, and then modern, 21st century, international relations, the economy of it, and the future outlook of the country. So now what you can do is just obviously take this, you, you can't extract it, um, or download it yet, you can obviously show as PDF, but if not, you can copy and paste it all into your preferred writing tool and then do whatever you want with it and then publish it. So I uh, hopefully you found that useful. So that was storm.stanford, or sorry, storm by Stanford University. And it's their, their way of um, creating an LM powered knowledge curation system that researches a topic and generates a full length report with citation. So Pretty impressive stuff, and as I say, it doesn't cost anything for the time being, free to access, you just have to log in and give it a prompt. So hopefully you found that useful, and thanks very much for watching.